Burn into the sun! <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Chris here from Corelton Gaming, and welcome back to Spiral the Dragon from the Reignited Trilogy. Yes, I'm going to specify that from now on because while Crash Bandicoot was. It said Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, it's Spiral the Dragon from the Reignited Trilogy. That's what I'm going to call it. Anyways, where we last left off, we started this adventure off by, well, going around the place and going to Stone Hill, our first portal, and searching around the artisan lands while also burning some Nork butts. Oh, I got what? Oh, 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 I thought I got an extra life. Um, I did not. Uh, when you burn Norks again, you do get some else, but I'll go over that later. Anyways, right now... I say we go around, explore some more, and go into other portals. But before we do that, I want to pause the game and go look at our options. I have said that I won't, I might leave this. I I might turn off the subtitles. It depends on what you guys think. I personally think the subtitles uh, work for me, but I know some people might not like it just for the fact it gets in the way. Besides, that's not how the original game was. But what I will turn on is the map. I did not know this had an, um this version had a map because the original did not have it. So you bet I will I will take it because I get lost a lot. Second, the guidebook. This shows how many dragons we've gotten so far. I was looking around and see what the what this options menu is before I started recording this. Now you also have a choice of traveling. Like you can travel to the Stone Hill. Like basically skip travel, which. At first, I thought uh, not really that great, but honestly, there's going to be a lot of places, like a lot of places. I, I may have not played a lot of this game, but I know there's probably a lot of places. So this is a good good uh, chance, especially if you want to go back and maybe 100% it. I don't know. Uh, another thing, um, another thing, uh, their skill points. These are like objectives. If you, you know, if you've ever followed the Skylanders um, franchise, which... I mean, I understand why people don't like it, but their achievements are really good. In Skylanders, there's an achievement um, thing where you have to achieve all of them. This is one of them. Reach Tricky Platform. I think that was that one with the chest. Burn the Hidden Pink, pink Tulip. All blow stuck. This, again, the, like in the original, it wasn't there before. And I, I think, you know, even though this game was developed for Toys for Bob, which who also developed Skylanders... I think this is a really good addition. I think this is a really good idea um, giving us achievements. I'm not playing, I'm probably not going to go for all the achievements, but I might as well do th That wasn't it, was it? Was it? I don't know. Uh, sorry to go back right now. Uh, did I do... Hidden Pink Tulip. Okay, that wasn't it. But yeah, I kind of like how they've added um, achievements in here. I mean, I mean, again, it was the same developers that did Skylanders, and if... And, they really wanted to do Spyro Justice as well. And I actually got to say, they did their work paid off. I actually appreciate what they did here. I still want to get that, that chest right there. Can I get it? Yes! Woo! Finally! That took a while. Hey, I got it. And I got the skill point. Awesome. Now, what I'm going to do is, first off, charge this Nork's butt. And uh, go over the life's... Actually... Ah, uh, you know what? I'm, I've been lollygagging around here too much. Um, those little orbs of Spyro's life, I'll kind of, I'll probably go over them a little later. But, uh, let's go up here. And the next one I want to go to is Town Square. Let's glide. Um, I heard someone, I think I've heard, heard like you can do something here. Oh, you can fire breathe here and you can move up and down. Wow, you can move up and down here. In Crash Bandicoot, you couldn't even do that. That's cool. That's amazing. That's cool. Burn in, burn in, burn in. Okay, no. Ah, uh, they took my phone away. Have. Whoa. I'm not sure if I was supposed to be. Oh, no way. I remember this now. I remember I played this in the original. Uh, these chickens. Uh. Spew out butterflies in case you want to heal sparks, which is nice. Uh, you know, get these gems here. I thought I, was, I could burn these flowers, but... Uh, nope, I guess I could. Ooh, let me get these chesties first. Yes, I said chesties. Because I'm a crazy guy. Rescue Nils. 
Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. Thank you, buddy. And by the way, I like your little Spyro statue. That was cool. Uh, now, this is where Spyro's platforming comes in handy. You can't get over there otherwise, but that's why we can glide. Again, this is what makes Spyro's platforming really unique. A lot more unique than the other platforms. Uh, and it, work, it makes sense with Spyro because he is a dragon after all. This is how dragons would probably get around. Uh, wow, these are really shiny. Um, this uh, specific chest, you fire breathe it and a blue gem will pop up. You have to collect it in order for it to break. Now the gems, I actually want to go over them right now. First, let me platform over here. Actually, I can't do it because we're about to rescue a dragon and get our next life after all. Uh, FYI, just like Sonic, Spyro cannot swim. Well, at least not here in this game. That's all I'm gonna say. Devlin, first Delvin and Delvin and now Devlin. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Yeah, I think I got that, but what I want to know is, how did you get your cake, you know, decorated saying thanks, Spyro, right when before we rescued you? I don't know how you we I don't know how you were able to, to get that in time, but hey, you probably have really good magical stuff. Uh get away, you bull. Turtle! Oh, oh, Ole! And you just hurt my sparks. Oh, get. You know what? I'll just burn you. There we go. There we go. Oh, and I hear. Oh, I hear the the egg thief. When you hear that, nee, 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 it's like. Ugh. Luckily, there's some chickens. And give me my butterfly. Um. Uh, I've got another dragon. Uh. Let me burn these bulls. If you charge them, um, they'll be stuck, and then you can fire breathe them. Or you can just plain burn them. It's it's really all about your choice. You, you can um, you can fire breathe them, or you can charge them, then fire breathe them. Really depends on how you do it. Let's free the dragon. Alvar. Hm. Spyro, do you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief. And he's stolen a dragon egg! You've got to track him down and, and get that egg! Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. Wow, he, they actually put a lot of charm in this guy. I think he's supposed to be a chef or something. They didn't show that in the original. And fun fact, I think I remember he was, like, in the original he was blue. I'm liking that they gave new designs. I don't want to go home just yet. Back to the artisans, at least. Because there is another dragon up there. I need to figure out how to get up there. While I do that, I definitely want to go over the gems now. The gems have just... They're, the gems I like to think of is a mixture of Mario's coins and rupees from Zelda. They have different costs depending on what gem you pick up. The red ones, believe it or not, are actually worth one, um, one gem. The green are actually worth two, if you can believe it. Ow. Um, the third one, the blue one, are actually worth five. Apparently they are same as rupees, I guess, except the greens are worth two. Yellow is worth 10, and magenta are worth 25. So that can give you a good incentive of how to spend it wisely. What? And meanwhile, while I platform over here, this guy can... I hate, I'm sorry. I, I hate I hate when he goes nah, 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 and has a creepy face like that. It, you just jump down. Where are you? Where are you? Arrgh. I'll get you later. Stop saying that. I need to get these gems first. Because honestly, you are not worth my time at all. Like, not worth my time at all. Now, collecting a lot. I want to try to collect every gem, even though it doesn't really accomplish anything. And I also want to... um. Uh, I also want to try to get all the dragon eggs as well, even though that also doesn't accomplish anything. Shut up! Stop saying nah, nah, nah. I get it. 
Um, actually, I think I missed something over there. Shut up! And no, 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 no! Come on! Uh, okay. I lost a life. Reigniting. Oh, I get it. That's a good one, guys. I like the pun. Um, the platforms that that you rescued the dragon from counts as a skip travel point. So if you lose, you just take him back to the dragon you last rescued. And again, this takes great platforming. No, okay, that didn't work. I'll uh, I'll uh, see you when I get the thief. I just realized the platforming is really weird here. There we go. No, come on! Okay, lesson learned. When you glide, don't tilt the control stick forward. Uh, dude, your face is still creepy. Not as creepy as PlayStation 1, but probably just as. Get back here. Where are you? Where, where'd you go? What? 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 Where'd you? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Get back. What the? What? What? Did you just teleport? Are you serious right now? What the heck? Oh, that. And I'm back where I'm started. He lured me to a trap. Wonderful. 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 Now I have to go back where I. Uh, you know what? I'll just see you when I rescue the next dragon. Because this is like. This is not funny. This is not funny at all. Freaking stupid egg thieves. Ugh, I hate them. It, uh, nope. The gliding seems weird here. I feel like I remember Spyro's um, gliding was a lot easier in the original. Like, it feels like Spyro sinks faster. Either that or I can't really get to the top of his jump. Nope, that was bad. I remember it was simple on my first on on the original, at least as far as I know. Why? Okay, so I don't have to hold the button. I just have to press it really hard to get that to get the to get at the tip of the jump. Okay, maybe I do have to hold it. There we go. No. Come on! How can I not do that anymore? There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. What? I had my my claws on that. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Thank you. Jeez. You're starting to really tick me off, dude. Get back here. I am not even chasing after you. because Oh, it's not worth it, not worth it, not worth it. I'm just going away from you. I thought I would fall off, but I guess not. Okay. Let's just go rescue the dragon, and then I'll go after the the thief later. <laughs> I chose the bullet disappeared after I rescued the dragon. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. Thanks, dude. Um, I kind of already had that covered. This one, okay, this is a new, I think I remember this. Uh, I just keep fire breathing and then gem pops out. Awesome. Now that that's done, let's go back to that thief. And you know what that means? More platforming, yay! Okay, I got it. Try not to hug the tower a little too much. Just go straight and then turn. Make sure you get a lot of air. That's the plan. Don't bump into the, the pillar because it will slow down. If you disappear, I swear. If you disappear, I swear. I swear. I swear. Nope. Where are you? You jumped back up. There we go. Now, to accept my revenge! 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 No! 
I know what you're thinking. Chris, isn't this a waste of time? Like, you know the dragon eggs are not going to accomplish anything. I don't care. I want to, to unravel in the victory of killing all these thieves and their creepy faces. Destroy them all. Shut up. I will. Wow, the face looks really creepy. It looks like he wants to eat me. That's the weird thing. Like, he's creepy, and it looks like he wants to, to eat me, but he's just being a, a doofus. Get there! Just yes! Oh, thank goodness! Finally got the other dragon egg! Thank goodness! Now, let's go home! Mommy, I'm home! I came to come back home to you! Bye-bye, uh, like, give me a butterfly. See ya! Would not want to be ya! I don't know if that's all the dragons here, but uh, I just couldn't handle it. I'm done. Like, I feel like I got every dragon. And, wow. Um, I just, I'm looking at my recording, and we got a lot of time left, especially with all the cuts I've been making. So, let's go to another world. Uh, I actually want to check, um, I actually want to check how many, wow. Okay, I think this is a good time to go over. If you hit the Norks the, the same time, you actually do not get a gem out of them. So if you're trying to grind for gems, sorry, not going to happen. Instead, oh, what? Did I get an extra life out of them? Wow, I have a lot to go over. Okay, if you hit a Nork, which is what they're called. Where, where are you? If you hit a Nork, you get these uh, spheres. And if you collect all these spheres, I believe you get another an extra life. But I feel like... Did I get an extra life out of the sheep? I thought that happened in an, a later game. I guess they do that here. So, apparently, you can get... Okay, let me charge this Nork again. Get a sphere, and if you get um, all of them, you get an extra life. Now, if... Um, if... Uh, um, it's weird that it happened in this game. Sometimes sheep, uh, apparently sometimes sheep can have a butterfly that can refuel your lives. Which is weird because I thought that happened in Spyro 2. But, wow, you can really grind for lives here. There are actually butterflies that, um, that can give you extra lives. But if I had to guess, they're probably super rare. So it's probably not going to happen. Now, I want to explore and see... You know what? I know what area I want to go to next. Let's go to Dark Hollow. I don't think I've ever been here yet. Or not, not, even in the original. So, I think this is going to be a new experience for me. Don't worry, I'll light the way. It's weird that they're inverted controls here. I don't get that. Maybe it's, maybe it's to show they're moving forward. I guess that makes sense. Oh, I'm gonna let's listen to the music. It's so pretty. Too bad these Norks are getting in the way. Um, okay, first off, these frogs can get rid of... Can not get rid of... They can give you butterflies for sparks. These Norks have these metal shields. This is a good way to know that fire breathing does not do a thing. However, if you charge at them, they give you a gem. So this is a good way to know, just like with the chest, knowing of... When what when to charge and when to fire breathe? You can choose. You can actually. You don't have to choose. It basically tells you, nope, you can't fire breathe them. You gotta charge them. 
And as for this guy, you can't charge him because he's made a bulk. Charging will not work. For that, you have to burn his butt or burn his stomach, whatever. This is a good way of, of figuring out each enemy's weakness. So it's not just, oh, I can just fire breathe everything or just charge everything. You have to figure out when to fire breathe and when to charge. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Dude, I literally just... What is it with every dragon explaining what I'm, what I'm doing? I mean, I know I, I know I don't mean to, and I probably shouldn't, but it's like... I know my spyro... Ology. Is that even a word? I don't even know. Uh, this is another one that unlocks with a key. We need to find the key here. In the meanwhile, I'll charge you. Charge you. Fire breathe you. Charge you. And where are you? Need to move the camera. Where are you? Charge you. Um, is there another... Okay, that serves the camera. I want to know if there's another um, button that... Um, if there's another button that uh, charges, I guess not. That's a roll. That's fire breathe. Why? Okay, why is A also fire fire breathe? I don't get that, but let's uh, bring the fire. Ooh, I I like how this place is like a library. I think that's really cool. Uh, fire breathe here. There's a gem up there. Probably not gonna matter. There's a chest up there as well. Uh, I want to get rid of these norks first. Uh, first off, burn you. I like you have a bucket for your head. Uh, guess you'll do it. You'll need anything. Wow, dude, you need to calm down. You need to chill, or in this case, you need to. What's the opposite of chill? Burn? I don't know. Uh, let me. You know, what? I'm trying to burn the frog, can I so I can get your butterfly. You're a butterfly in your stomach. I'm trying to make it sound cool, but I guess not. Um, okay, so I can just glide here. Get this chest. Oh, an extra life. Cool. I'll take it. Uh, let's go. Ow. Up here. Get this gem. No, I know it's unnecessary, but I like exploring. It's just what I do. Uh, let's um, release the dragon. Darius. Big enemies like this Nork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. Again, I already handled it. Okay, so I did not get all the dragons here. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, so... Wherever that dragon is, let's see. That's where the that's where home is. I want to get those gems later. So I'm missing a dragon, and I want to search this place. Uh, okay. I forgot to go here. Uh, no. Wait. This is where I started. Wow. There's a lot of exploration here. Um, okay, so maybe I need to go up here? No, that's a dead end too. Where? I can just imagine you are just yelling at me. Oh, oh wait, is it down here? Yes, I haven't been here. Yo, jeez. Oh, um, I think you can burn his butt or chop. Or charge, charge. Can I? No, that doesn't work either. Oh. Oh, I think I, I had to burn his butt. So I have to sneak on him and burn his butt. Okay, got it. Um, let me test that out with this guy. Turn around. No, okay, so I have to wait and charge his butt. Or not. Burn his butt. No. Oh wait, I did. Never mind, I got it. Wow, the hitbox on these are weird. 
Um, wow. Okay, one more dragon, and I think I'm ready to go home. Or, by go home, I mean return to ours. And oh, wait. No, there's a key. And I think the key um unlocks something here. And I got to say this. I know people don't like Skylanders. There's a lot of people that don't like it, but I like how it's the Skylanders key. Like, I like how they tie. I, I do like how Skylanders and Spiral are tied together. I, I do like it. At least aesthetically. Psst. Spiral, want to know a secret? Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Um, okay. I don't know how that helped, dude, because I kind of already knew. I wish there was a way. Is there a way to zoom in? Is there a way to zoom in more? Um, guess not. I, I guess that's the only way to do it. Well, I guess that's enough of that. Did I wait? Did I get all the dragons here? I got to check. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Dark Hollow. Uh, three out of three. I guess I could always just check here. Um, while I would check around here and see, like, if there are, like, any egg thieves, I really don't want to. And I feel like, I, I again, don't mean to be speaking redundantly, but I feel like this video has been kind of going long enough. I do wish I knew what these campfires do, but again, it's probably just the, uh, just aesthetically there. Uh, ow. I thought I could do a, a double step. Like, you know, skip a step, but I guess that didn't work. Sorry, I like skipping steps, especially when I go upstairs. I don't know why. There's just an enjoyment of it. All right, let's head back to Artisan. Oh, no. With the moonlit sky and the frame rate slowing down, got 543 gems total. And I say, next time on Spiral the Dragon, we head to another portal. And let's see where this also takes us. With that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.